What's up everybody, today I'm going to tell you about the list of technologies that you need to learn for 2021 if you want to become a software developer. There might be multiple reasons why you want to become a software developer. One of the things might be you want to, for example, start your own business, your, your own startup. Another thing might be is because you, you might be looking into a career change. Uh, you, maybe you're not satisfied at your current job. You're not just liking it. It's not what you're expected and you're just looking for something new. And another thing is that you're simply interested in programming. Now, all of that is good and you might have good reasons here and there. But at the same time, if you are completely new into the in the software development industry, it might be a little bit hard for you to know exactly what technology you need to learn uh, in order to, to become a software developer and, and you know spend the least amount of time learning the things that are not beneficial for you or that are not going to be effective for you in your whole process to become a software developer. I'm going to help you with that and one of the reasons why is because being a self-taught developer, yes it's possible and maybe you have been listening you've been reading a lot of articles about a lot of these developers programmers that are self-taught that's good and that's possible that's completely possible in fact there's a great amount of uh, developers in the industry are, are self-taught but the problem is that you need to understand what, what to learn exactly because you don't want to spend a lot of time uh, learning something that is not what you need to learn especially you want to for example you want to to, to change careers right so let's get started right away. And I'm gonna tell you that there are some basics that you have to have to learn, like no matter what, no matter the technology, no matter the programming languages that you might be interested in learning. These are the things that you should learn at least, especially if you're wanting to become a web developer. Number one, you need to understand how to use a terminal. And that's one of those things that people, whenever you open the terminal and start using it, and they, they, they start thinking that you are a hacker. That's not a reality, but that's one of the things that you should learn. It's gonna be very handful. Pretty much is something that you need to use on a daily basis. Also, you need to understand or you need to use version control. Any kind of version control, it could be github gitlab bitbucket my preference is gonna be github and version control in general is where you can store you can keep your repositories so what a repository is is just quote unquote just to put it in simple words is where you store you keep your projects for example let's think about uh, a project and this is gonna be amazon yeah pretty much amazon it's it's a huge ginormous application in the web there's a repo where, where the whole code base is stored and is safe it's like for example whenever you create a, a file a document in word and then you save it in your in, in your computer right the version control allows you to know also store uh, or save your repositories uh, with all of the latest changes that you have in your projects in your apps uh, but also it allows you to keep track of all of the changes that you have made over time so terminal and version control now for web developers you need to know at least html css and javascript javascript is the only programming language out of these three although oftentimes you you hear html and css the reality is that that doesn't mean that it's a programming language so that's one of the things that you start you have to learn during the process html is pretty much is going to contain the structure or the content and css is going to have the styles what makes a website look pretty another basic thing or essential thing that you will have to learn uh, during the process is how to use a package manager. It could be NPM or Yarn. Those are the most popular uh, used at the moment. And basically allows you to install uh, or include third party library or packages into your project that might be helpful for you in order to, to develop things quicker uh, because there's a package that already has, has developed, for example, a functionality of sending emails. Now that we have covered the basics, you have to start making a decision where you want to become a front-end developer or a back-end developer. If you want to become a full-stack developer, you can just simply learn both things, uh, both both things that apply for e for each each side. So, if you want to become a full-stack developer, you will have to learn front-end and back-end technologies, everything. It's gonna be a lot of things, but at the same time, the more you learn, you, I mean, you are a full-stack, you're gonna be pay more. If that's what you're looking for but still you can still make a lot of money uh, if you want to just 
uh, specialize on front end or you specialize on back end, whichever you pick, just pay attention to the following technologies that you need to learn. So for front end developers, what you need to learn is either one, one of these three technologies, Angular, Vue.js, and React. Either one of them, if you learn one of them, it's you're gonna be fine. You don't need to learn the three of them. If you learn the three of them, well, that's that's excellent. If you learn two of them, that's excellent. You're gonna learn how the differences between each one of those uh, frameworks or libraries and see what, what could, work best uh, for different kind of situations but if you are brand new definitely my top recommendation would be react even though i am an angular developer at the at the moment of this time that i'm recording it i recommend react because there are more opportunities out there uh, out there if you are looking for for a career switch uh with regards to react now i'm not saying that angular or vue.js there are not opportunities yeah there are plenty but react takes the lead there's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of companies that are using React JS as their library of choice for the front end. Also, with React, you can also learn uh, some kind of framework that is related to React, such as Next.js or Gatsby. Another thing you want to learn if you are looking to become a front end developer is to learn SaaS or less. And uh, basically, any of these two are CSS in technology. And remember, I mentioned a little bit a second ago is that CSS is what allows you to style uh, your, your web application. SaaS or less is, uh, are just advanced ways to advance methodologies to work on your styles, on the styles on the, of an application. Now for backend developers, there are topics uh, that you need to learn. And the backend focuses more on data, on the modeling, the, the infrastructure of the application, you know, everything that is behind scenes. That's what is called backend because nobody sees it. The front end, everybody sees it and the user interacts with it. The back end, nobody sees it, but it's got quite a bit of the core of the, uh, of the application. What you need to learn at least is a relational database. You might read in the internet, but there's relational databases and non-relational databases. Although non-relational databases have become very popular recently, relational databases, I can guarantee you that every company have at least some kind of uh, legacy code that has, that it implements or that uses relational databases. So you need to learn at least relational databases and that could be either Postgres, MySQL, Oracle SQL, SQL Server, any of those um, are really good. Uh, I could give you my personal opinion. You should learn Postgres. That's that's the way to go. Also, you will need to learn not just the database in itself, but also where you're gonna code and your, your processes are gonna be, your, the code in itself is gonna be be running your all of those backend processes. And that's gonna be, uh, there are several in the pipeline that could be uh, JavaScript programming language with Node.js plus Express or you could be you could pick php php is a programming language with laravel laravel uh, is the framework you can pick python as a programming language and django as uh, the framework you can pick c sharp the programming language and dot net framework as the framework so all of these are great options like there are several several options out there however the ones that i mentioned are pretty much the most popular but my personal choice for you to learn for the back end if you're interested in software development is to go either for node.js plus express plus javascript or uh, to pick python plus Django. so those were the list of technologies that you need to learn for 2021 if you're interested in becoming a software developer now there are other technologies that you might want to learn and there are cloud services uh, technologies that are used uh, not just for backend but also front end either one of them although usually backend developers tend to use more of those cloud services front end developers can also take advantage of this and learn some of these cloud technologies because you might even use some of the basic functionality for just for, for full front end development definitely definitely i would recommend you to learn a AWS services. Now, AWS services or AWS has a bunch of services in the cloud that it would be impossible to learn all of them. Like there's there's a lot. I, I we can open like literally if you Google AWS and you open AWS services and, and you see all of the 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 cloud services they have is just you know it's just too much. So here's a list of services that you will want to learn at least at least or, or at least you will want to have some kind of knowledge 
It's not very necessary, but it would be a plus, a plus for you. You will need to learn AWS Lambda functions. You will need to learn, you will want to learn Lambda. You will want to learn uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk. You will want to learn AWS Load Balancers, AWS Route 53, AWS EC2, and also AWS S3. S3, I can guarantee you that uh, at least 50% of the companies nowadays that, that work on software are using S3. It's very common to use it, so you're most likely you're gonna you're gonna work with it at some point in your software development career. There you go, those were the list of technologies that you need to learn. If you have questions or doubts, please leave me a comment in the section below or just ping me one of my uh, social media channels uh, if you have doubts or questions and I will gladly help you with if you have uh, concerns of what to learn or not. If you are a seasoned developer and you are watching this video and you are wondering whether this is, uh, you're thinking where all of, some of these technologies were not really uh, a good choice for for newbies or for people for 20, in 2021, please leave me a, a comment below as well. I would like to hear from you. I would wanna see uh, what are the difference, what are your thoughts, the list of technologies that I mentioned. Uh, I consider that those are the ones needed right now at this moment for any kind of software development job. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe somewhere in here to my channel uh, to, if you want to be notified for future videos about software development. In fact, I will be teaching you some of these technologies that you need to learn from zero. I mean, if you are a beginner, <laughs> I'm going to take you from beginner to the developer that you need to the technology that you need to learn in order to become a software developer in 2021. That's all for today and see you until next time.